Let's just finish off this mid-season recap with some hot takes for the rest of the NBA season. Edward, do you give me one hot take for the rest of the NBA season? Um, I think one of my hot takes right now is that the Knicks is going to make to the playoff. They don't have to play that uh, play-in tournament. I think they bear, I think, what's the lining? Six seed is the lining, or is it the seven seed is the lining for the playoff tournament? Does anyone know? Is it the, I know it's, it's like, like. I believe it's eight, nine, and 10, right? Yeah. Those eight, are nine, the teams that play in. I, I think, I think the Knicks are not going to play that play-in tournament. So they're going to be securing that playoff spot. I don't know about a fit, but maybe like six or seven, I think that's more of a stick for them. So, yeah, the Knicks are going to be making the playoff since Carmelo Anthony. That, that is a pretty hot take because we're not expecting too much out of the Knicks still, even though because they're all, all those teams in the East after the third seed are like bunched around 500 if you look at the records. Um, Gabe, what is your hot take? My hot take is that the Celtics, who have been on a roll lately, are going to figure it out for the rest of the year, and they're going to finish as they're going to finish as the fourth seed. Um, it's not necessarily that hot of a take because the East is really just the first three seeds, being the Sixers, Nets, and Bucks, respectively. Um, so I, there's no way I could see them, you know, beating any of those teams in record. But they're finally figuring it out, whereas before they were the 10th seed, they were 15 and 17. It wasn't looking good, as I mentioned in my weekly recap. But if we're going to talk outside of the season and just in terms of transactions, um, a hot take I'm going to say is the Knicks are going to trade for a star player and kind of pull like a Carmelo Anthony 2.0 type of trade where they're going to blow their future. It hurts me to say, but I've seen this before. Leon Rose likes the big name guys as we saw by the Derrick Rose trade. Um, there's a lot of stars that have been rumored to want to play in New York. Um, and the Nets have basically filled out their roster with star players. So the, the Knicks are going to make some, some big trade. We have a lot of young assets. And, you know, the future is finally looking bright. So I hope I'm wrong. I hope if we do get a star that it's not worth, you know, a, a trillion bucks. But... I think, I think that'll happen. I think we'll land a star player either in the summer or the beginning of next year. If yep. you said that, who, who's your, uh, who, do you, who do you think you guys Ooh. should trade for? Putting pressure on me. Uh, well, I think that Cat is probably the guy, the number one option that we're going to try to go after. Bradley Beal just – he seems too loyal to ever leave. Whether the – I don't think the Wizards would ever trade him, and I don't think they'll ever request a trade at this point. He's gone through it all. So I think that Cat is the guy that we're going to go after. Solid solid uh, trade proposed move um, before the tra trade deadline. And I think we should have a segment where we propose some trades that will potentially happen. Um, because I, I kind of saw Blake Griffin going to Brooklyn. It felt like the right move. I should have put it in words beforehand. Um, and let me just add my hot take. I kind of, I wanted to say the Washington Wizards will make the playoffs as a play-in team. Um, but I think we've already given both takes in the Eastern Conference. So let me give a take in the Western Conference. I think the Jazz or, or the Suns, those two teams that we didn't expect to be there in the seedings, one of those teams will knock out um, the Lakers or the Clippers prior to the conference championship. Wow. So I'm saying, I'm saying we're not going to see a Lakers Clippers conference championship, either the jazz or the Suns. at least one of those teams will be there when we get how, to the conference how sweet, finals. How sweet would that be for Chris Paul to take out the Clippers? Oh, ben, that'll be fun. That'll, that'll be, uh, hey, I predicted it too, that if that the Clippers were not going to make it, I, I think that's like probably the best take right now. And if I'm a Lakers fan, so if I with that take, I would be very scary because right now in this in this state right now, let's say AD got injured for the like the rest of the season. Hopefully that doesn't happen. I'll be scared. I'll be really scared. Uh, to be honest, the Phoenix Suns or the Jazz. So right now those are the teams I don't want to face, but I rather face them more than the Clippers early.
I want to say that I would rather see the Lakers to face the Clippers in the conference final. But hey, if the Phoenix Suns or the Jazz could knock the the, the Clippers, hey, that ha- that's happening for me. Now we just need one team to worry about. But I, I it's going to be a fun playoff once all the season's down in the standing. So yeah, that, that was a good take. Yeah, and alternatively, like you guys mentioned the story of Chris Paul getting revenge on the Clippers. What if the Utah Jazz get revenge on the Lakers just because of what LeBron said the other day? All that Utah Jazz slander, I feel like it's building up. Mike Conley just showed out in the three-point contest, and I think the Jazz are actually taking it to heart. Rudy Gobert is also going to take it to heart, even though he's on, I think he's on LeBron's team, or is he on KD's team? Yeah, he's on LeBron's team. LeBron's. Yeah, they were the last even teams. though he's on LeBron's team, I think all these Jazz players, Conley, um, and Jordan Clarkson has a history with the Lakers. So I mean, I think those people, is, uh, they're, they're a prime position to prove everybody wrong and to get revenge or like have motivation for getting to the conference finals. I just want to say we got to show some respect to the Jazz. I know we've been talking about them all segment. I'm not talking to us. I'm talking to NBA fans in general because it feels like the Jazz could win a championship and they get slander for doing so. I don't know what they could do right to make people shut up and respect them. For sure. They always put on a show. Like, I guess they're not they're not the most fun team to watch, but Donovan Mitchell is box office and they play the right way. And it's just it's it's very fun to see a team like that. And I'm actually rooting for them to prove everybody wrong. And I'm sure you guys are as well. But I guess the general consensus is that the Utah Jazz are just a, a good regular season team right now. We'll just have to see they're they're like their three point like bomb is like so crazy like they're like the golden state warrior 2.0 like all the guy except like Rudy Gobert can shoot the ball like that's scary like and my yeah my my issue is like can they keep this up in the playoff but um because they're gonna have to take out Rudy Gobert in the playoff because they're gonna pick up like they're gonna pick their like food on you know, on Rudy. So it's going to be very interesting how the Jazz lineup will look like. Um, but hey, uh, sh- yeah, good. Give Utah some respect. I got to give that. I was kind of cringy when LeBron said that, but I was like, man, you got to give some love to Utah. Come on, bro. But uh, I don't think that would happen because I, I think LeBron knows that um, that Michael Jordan vibe, you know, Mike, Michael Jordan lost two regular season games against the best Utah team that I ever played, I think. And then they just sweep or like beat them in the final. So like, I'm not too worried about it. So I think LeBron has that mentality. All right. Well, we're running out of time. That will wrap up our segment, mid-season recap and hot takes. Hope you like this video. Hope you pay attention to our future NBA videos. And we're all excited to watch the rest of the NBA season once it resumes. Hope you had a good all-star weekend. We'll see you in the next weekly recap or the next episode of Last Man Standing. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel, the M2M Network, for more sports and entertainment content.